chapter 19, chief among the publicans, Luke 19, 1 to 3, KJV, and Jesus entered and passed through Jericho. And behold, there was a man named Zacchaeus, which was the chief among the publicans, and he was rich, and he sought to see Jesus who he was, and could not for the press, because he was little of stature, chief among the publicans, the leader of tax collectors, and he was rich. The rich could not inherit the kingdom of God. They had to sell all that they had and give it to the poor and go and follow Christ. He sought to see Jesus, who he was. Here he was an absolute stranger to Jesus, and he calls him by name. Luke 19, verse 4 to 6, KJV. And he ran before and climbed up into a sycamore tree to see him, for he was to pass that way. And when Jesus came to the place, he looked up and saw him and said unto him, Zacchaeus, make haste and come down, for today I must abide at thy house. And he made haste and came down and received him joyfully, a sycamore tree. Zacchaeus recognized Jesus was the Christ at a tree. And when Nathanael asked Jesus how he knew who he was, Jesus said he knew him when he saw him under a fig tree. John 1, 48 to 50. Jesus knew his name without having met him. Luke 19, KJV. And when they saw it, they all murmured, saying that he was gone to be guest with a man that is a sinner. They all murmured, this is speaking of the Pharisees. He was gone to be guest with a man that is a sinner. Jesus was a friend of publicans, tax collectors, and sinners. Publicans worked for Rome, collecting from Jews. They were seen as traitors. Luke 19, 8, KJV. And Zacchaeus stood and said unto the Lord, Behold, Lord, the half of my goods I give to the poor. And if I have taken anything from any man by false accusation, I restore him fourfold. The half of my goods I give to the poor. In the previous chapter, Jesus was teaching that it was impossible for a rich man to enter into the kingdom of God. The rich man was told to sell all that he had and give to the poor and to come and follow him. He didn't, but Zacchaeus did. I restore him fourfold. This is what was required by the law. Exodus 22, 1 KJV. If a man shall steal an ox or a sheep and kill it or sell it, he shall restore five oxen for an ox and four sheep for a sheep, Second Samuel 12, 6. And he shall restore the lamb fourfold because he did this thing and because he had no pity. Luke 19, 9 to 10, KJV. And Jesus said unto him, This day is salvation come to this house, for so much as he also is a son of Abraham. For the Son of Man is come to seek and to save that which was lost. He also is a son of Abraham. There is another time a similar phrase is used in the Bible, and it is by Jesus to a woman. Luke 13, verse 16. What Zacchaeus did was required as seen in previous chapters in the other gospel accounts and in the first eight chapters of the book of Acts for entrance into the kingdom. Occupy till I come. Luke 19, verse 11, KJV. And as they heard these things, he added and spake a parable because he was nigh to Jerusalem and because they thought that the kingdom of God should immediately appear. He said, therefore, a certain nobleman went into a far country to receive for himself a kingdom and to return as they heard these things, who is the they that heard these things? Jesus is speaking to the apostles here. Those things mentioned in verses 9 and 10 above, they thought that the kingdom of God should immediately appear. They did not remember the prophecies about the 70 weeks of Daniel, especially the 70th week, Jeremiah 30, 7 KJV. Alas, for that day is great, so that none is like it. It is even the time of Jacob's trouble, but he shall be saved out of it. Daniel 9, 24, 27 KV. 70 weeks are determined upon thy people and upon thy holy city to finish the transgression and to make an end of sins and to make reconciliation for iniquity and to bring in everlasting righteousness and to seal up the vision and prophecy prophecy and to anoint the most holy. Know therefore and understand that from the going forth of the commandment to restore and to build Jerusalem unto the Messiah, the prince shall be seven weeks and threescore and two weeks, the street shall be built again, and the wall even in troublous times. And after threescore and two weeks shall Messiah be cut off, but not for himself. And the people of the prince that shall come shall destroy the city and the sanctuary, and the end thereof shall be with a flood. And unto the end of the war desolations are determined and he shall confirm the covenant with many for one week and in the midst of the week he shall cause the sacrifice and the oblation to cease and for the overspreading of abominations he shall make it desolate even until the consummation and that determined shall be poured upon the desolate a certain nobleman jesus is speaking of himself here daniel seven thirteen to 14 kjv i saw in the night visions and behold one like the son of man came with the clouds of heaven and came to the ancient of days and they brought him near before him and there was given him dominion and glory and a kingdom 
that all people, nations, and languages should serve him. His dominion is an everlasting dominion which shall not pass away, and his kingdom that which shall not be destroyed went into a far country. Jesus ascended into heaven after his resurrection. Jesus is in exile today until his enemies be made his footstool. Psalm 110, David, the Lord said unto my Lord, sit thou at my right hand until I make thine enemies thy footstool to receive for himself a kingdom. When his enemies are just about to be destroyed in the tribulation period, the certain nobleman will receive his kingdom from the father. Daniel seven thirteen to 14, I saw in the night visions and behold, one like the son of man came with the clouds of heaven and came to the ancient of days and they brought him near before him. And there was given him dominion and glory and a kingdom that all people, nations, and languages should serve him. His dominion is an everlasting dominion, which shall not pass away, and his kingdom that which shall not be destroyed. And to return, this is his return after the tribulation period to set up his kingdom. Luke 19, 13 to 14 v. And he called his ten servants and delivered them ten pounds, and said unto them, Occupy till I come. But his citizens hated him and sent a message after him, saying, We will not have this man to reign over us. His ten servants, ten is the number of men needed to pray together in Israel. Israel is called God's servants. First Chronicles sixteen thirteen, Psalm one hundred five six, Isaiah forty four eight, forty eight one two, twenty one, forty five four, forty eight twenty and Ezekiel 37, 25. His servants are identified in Luke twelve thirty two as the little flock and delivered them 10 pounds. He delivered to each of them one pound apiece. He gave believers the Holy Ghost on the day of Pentecost and told them it was to endue them with power to accomplish the task before them of giving out the gospel of the kingdom to the nation. Acts 1, 3 to 9. Occupy till I come. The word occupy is the root word for the word occupation. It is the work of trading in verse 31 that they were to do for the nobleman. To busy oneself, Mark 13, 34. But his citizens hated him. They are citizens of the nation of Asian of Israel, not the little flock. Not all in the early Acts period, Acts 1 to 8, were faithful with what God had given them, nor will some of them in the tribulation period, Acts 5, 1 to 12. John 19, 15, but they cried out, Away with him, away with him, crucify him. Pilate saith unto them, Shall I crucify your king? The chief priests answered, We have no king but Caesar, and sent a message after him. After his resurrection and ascension, his citizens gave their response to God by killing Stephen. Acts 7, 58, Luke 19, 15, KJV. And it came to pass that when he was returned, having received the kingdom, then he commanded these servants to be called unto him, to whom he had given the money, that he might know how much every man had gained by trading. When he was returned, having received the kingdom, Daniel seven thirteen to 14, then he commanded these servants to be called unto him, the judgment of his servants at the onset of the kingdom. Matthew twelve thirty six and Revelation twenty two twelve below. Matthew twelve thirty six KJV. But I say unto you that every idle word that men shall speak, they shall give account thereof in the day of judgment. Revelation twenty two twelve KJV. And behold, I come quickly, and my reward is with me to give every man according as his work shall be. How much every man had gained by trading? The word trading is the same Greek word occupy to busy oneself. Luke nineteen sixteen teen. then came the first saying, Lord, thy pound hath gained 10 pounds. And he said unto him, well, thou good servant, because thou hast been faithful in a very little, have thou authority over 10 cities, have thou authority over 10 cities. Mark 10, verse 29 to 31. Revelation 22, verse 12. And behold, I come quickly and my reward is with me to give every man according as his work shall be. Isaiah 40 and KJV. Behold, the Lord God will come with strong hand and his arm shall rule for him. Behold, his reward is with him and his work before before him. Behold, the Lord hath proclaimed unto the end of the world, say ye to the daughter of Zion, behold, thy salvation cometh. Behold, his reward is with him and his work before him. Luke 19 to 18. And the second came saying, Lord, thy pound hath gained five pounds. Be thou also over five cities, Mark 10, 29 to 31, KJV. And Jesus answered, and verily I say unto you, there is no man that hath left house or brethren or sisters or father or mother or children or lands for my sake in the gospels, but he shall receive an hundredfold now in this time 
houses and brethren and sisters and mothers and children and lands with persecutions and in the world to come eternal life. But many that are first shall be last and the last first. Luke 19, 20 to 26. And another came saying, Lord, behold, here is thy pound, which I have kept laid up in a napkin. For I feared thee because thou art an austere man. Thou takest up that thou laidst not down and reapest that thou didst not sow. And he saith unto him, Out of thine own mouth will I judge thee, thou wicked servant. Thou knewest that I was an austere man, taking up that I laid not down, and reaping that I did not sow. Wherefore then gavest not thou my money into the bank, that at my coming I might have required mine own with usury? And he said unto them that stood by, Take from him the pound, and give it to him that hath ten pounds. And they said unto him, Lord, he hath ten pounds. For I say unto you, that unto every one which hath shall be given, and from him that hath not, even that he hath shall be taken away from him. Mark 10, verse 29, 31, KJV. And Jesus answered and said, Verily I say unto you, there is no man that hath left house, or brethren, or sisters, or father, or mother, or wife, or children, or lands, for my sake and the gospels, but he shall receive an hundredfold now in this time, houses and brethren and sisters and mothers and children and lands with persecutions and in the world to come eternal life. But many that are first shall be last and the last first. Luke, Luke 8, 18. Take heed therefore how ye hear, for whosoever hath to him shall be given, and whosoever hath not from him shall be taken even that which he seemeth to have. Luke 19, 27. But those mine enemies which would not that I should reign over them bring hither and slay them before me. That is kingdom justice. The disciples of Jesus thought that the kingdom was about to appear at any moment as they were with the future king heading to Jerusalem. Jesus wanted their focus to be on the events that were about to happen, not on future events. He did, however, tell them what they should be doing while they waited for the kingdom to appear. The consequences for not doing what was expected had eternal consequences. They were to live as if the kingdom could come at any moment. Rebuke thy disciples. Luke 19, 28 to 29, KJV. And when he had thus spoken, he went before, ascending up to Jerusalem. And it came to pass when he was come nigh to Bethphage and Bethany at the mount called the Mount of Olives, he sent two of his disciples, Bethphage and Bethany, cities on the Mount of Olives where Jesus later ascends into heaven from. Luke 24, 50, 51. Beth Bethany was the city of Mary and Martha and Simon the former leper. Matthew 26, 7, Luke 19, 30, saying, Go ye into the village over against you, in the which at your entering ye shall find a colt tied, whereon yet never man sat. Loose him and bring him hither. Ye shall find a colt tied, whereon yet never man sat. And soon he would be placed in a tomb wherein never man before laid. Uh -huh. Rejoice greatly, O daughter of Zion. Shout, O daughter of Jerusalem. Behold, thy king cometh unto thee. He is just and having salvation, lowly and riding upon an ass, and upon a colt the foal of an ass. Luke 23. And he took it down and wrapped it in linen and laid it in a sepulcher that was hewn in stone, wherein never man before was laid. Luke 19, verse 31, 34, KJV. And if any man ask you, why do ye loose him? Thus shall ye say unto him, because the Lord hath need of him. And they that were sent went their way and found even as he had said unto them. And as they were loosing the colt, the owners thereof said unto them, why loose ye the colt? And they said, the Lord hath need of him. Jesus' humble entrance. Luke 19, 35 to 40, KJV. And they brought him to Jesus and they cast their garments upon the colt and they set Jesus thereon. And as he went, they spread their clothes in the way. And when he was come nigh, even now at the descent of the Mount of Olives, the whole multitude of the disciples began to rejoice and praise God with a loud voice for all the mighty works that they had seen, saying, Blessed be the King that cometh in the name of the Lord, peace in heaven and glory in the highest. And some of the Pharisees from among the multitude said unto him, Master, rebuke thy disciples. And he answered and said unto them, I tell you that if these should hold their peace, the stones would immediately cry out. Hosea 2, 11 to 14 KJV. I will also cause all her mirth to cease, her feast days, her new moons and her Sabbaths and all her solemn feasts. And I will destroy her vines and her fig trees, whereof she hath said, these are my rewards that my lovers have given me. And I will make them a forest and the beasts of the field shall eat them. And I will visit upon her the days of Balim, wherein she burned incense to them, and she decked herself with her earrings and her jewels, and she went after her lovers, and forgot me, saith the Lord. Therefore, behold, I will allure her and bring her into the wilderness, 
and speak comfortably unto her. Little did they know when they were acquiring the colt that they were fulfilling prophecy. Zechariah 9.9 9, Rejoice greatly, O daughter of Zion. Shout, O daughter of Jerusalem. Behold, thy king cometh unto thee. He is just and having salvation, lowly and riding upon an ass and upon a colt, the foal of an ass. Luke 19.30 The time of thy visitation. Luke 19.41-42 to 42. And when he was come near, he beheld the city and wept over it, saying, If thou hadst known even thou at least in this thy day, the things which belong unto thy peace, but now they are hid from thine eyes. In this thy day, the things which belong unto thy peace. This thy day is a reference to the time of their visitation mentioned below. Luke nineteen forty three to 44 For the day shall come upon thee, that thine enemies shall cast a trench about thee, and compass thee round, and keep thee in on every side and shall lay thee even with the ground, and thy children within thee, and they shall not leave in thee one stone upon another, because thou knewest not the time of thy visitation. Isaiah 29, 3, 4, KJV, And I will camp against thee round about, and will lay siege against thee with a mount, and I will raise forts against thee, and thou shalt be brought down, and shalt speak out of the ground, and thy speech shall be low out of the dust, and thy voice shall be as of one that hath a familiar spirit out of the ground, and thy speech shall whisper out of the dust. Seventy weeks are determined upon thy people and upon thy holy city to finish the transgression and to make an end of sins and to make reconciliation for iniquity and to bring in everlasting righteousness and to seal up the vision and prophecy and to anoint the most holy. Micah 3.12 KJV Therefore shall Zion for your sake be plowed as a field and Jerusalem shall become heaps, and the mountain of the house as the high places of the forest. The time of thy visitation. This is a phrase mentioned in the prophets numerous times, especially in the prophet Jeremiah, Micah 5, 2, KJV. But thou, Bethlehem Ephrata, though thou be little among the thousands of Judah, yet out of thee shall he come forth unto me, that is to be ruler in Israel, whose goings forth have been from of old, from everlasting, a den of thieves. Luke nineteen forty five forty six. And he went into the temple and began to cast out them that sold therein and them that bought, saying unto them, It is written, My house is the house of prayer, but ye have made it a den of thieves. Isaiah fifty six. Even them will I bring to my holy mountain, and make them joyful in my house of prayer. Their burnt offerings and their sacrifices shall be accepted upon mine altar. For mine house shall be called an house of prayer for all people. My house is the house of prayer. Matthew 21, 13, Mark 11, 17, and John 2, 16. Luke 19, 47 to 48, KJV, and he taught daily in the temple. But the chief priests and the scribes and the chief of the people sought to destroy him and could not find what they might do, for all the people were very attentive to hear him. Early on, the temple was called a house of prayer, but Jesus said they had turned it into a den of thieves. Earlier in Luke's gospel, he tells them something that should have caused them to weep and lament. It did not. Luke 13, 35, Behold, your house is left unto you desolate, and verily I say unto you, ye shall not see me until the time come when ye shall say, Blessed is he that cometh in the name of the Lord. God's presence had left the building that Solomon had built as God's house. It has not returned since, and it will not until the kingdom is come to this earth after our dispensation ends and the tribulation period runs its course. Gospel of Luke chapter 20, the baptism of John, Luke 21. And it came to pass that on one of those days, as he taught the people in the temple and preached the gospel, the chief priests and the scribes came upon him with the elders, Luke 22 to 4, and spake unto him, saying, Tell us, by what authority dost thou these things? Or who is he that gave thee this authority? And he answered and said unto them, I will also ask you one thing, and answer me, the baptism of John, was it from heaven or of men? And preach the gospel. The gospel of the kingdom is the only gospel that Jesus preached. Matthew 4:23. The baptism of John was it from heaven, John 1, 6, Luke 25 to 6, KJV. And they reasoned with themselves, saying, If we shall say from heaven, he will say, Why then believed ye him not? But and if we say of men, all the people will stone us, for they be persuaded that John was a prophet. Luke 7, 28, 
Luke 20, verse 7, 8, KJV. And they answered that they could not tell whence it was. And Jesus said unto them, Neither tell I you by what authority I do these things. They compromised and came up with an answer that was safe for them to maintain their position as elders, scribes, and chief priests. Jesus would have answered their questions if they would have answered his. Notice what Luke said earlier in his gospel about John's baptism, Luke 7, 28 to 30. For I say unto you, among those that are born of women, there is not a greater prophet than John the Baptist, but he that is least in the kingdom of God is greater than he. And all the people that heard him and the publicans justified God, being baptized with the baptism of John. But the Pharisees and lawyers rejected the counsel of God against themselves, being not baptized of him. The Lord of the Vineyard, Luke 29, KJV. Then began he to speak to the people this parable. A certain man planted a vineyard and led it forth to husbandmen and went into a far country for a long time. A certain man, a vineyard, Isaiah 5, 1 and led it forth to husbandmen. The leaders of Israel were put in charge of the nation's spiritual well-being, a far country for a long time. The vineyard began with Abraham, but they were not in the land until after returning from Egypt. Luke 20.10, KJV, And at the season he sent a servant to the husbandmen, that they should give him of the fruit of the vineyard. But the husbandmen beat him and sent him away empty. He sent a servant unto the husbandmen, a prophet. James 1, KJV, James, a servant of God and of the Lord Jesus Christ, to the twelve tribes which are scattered abroad, greeting, uh, blessed is he that readeth, and they that hear the words of this prophecy, and keep those things which are written therein, for the time is at hand. The husbandmen beat him, leaders of Israel at that time, Luke 20, verse 11 to 13, and again he sent another servant, and they beat him also, and entreated him shamefully, and sent him away empty, and again he sent a third and they wounded him also and cast him out. Then said the Lord of the vineyard, What shall I do? I will send my beloved son. It may be they will reverence him when they see him. My beloved son, this is Jesus talking about his father, sending him to his own people and his own receiving him not. John 1, 11, Luke 20, 14, KJV. But when the husbandmen saw him, they reasoned among themselves, saying, This is the heir. Come, let us kill him, that the inheritance may be ours. John 1, 11. This is the heir, come, let us kill him, the heir to the throne as king of kings, that the inheritance may be ours. The inheritance is the vineyard, which is Israel, according to Isaiah 5, 1, 7, Luke 20, 15 to 16, KJV. So they cast him out of the vineyard and killed him. What therefore shall the Lord of the vineyard do unto them? He shall come and destroy these husbandmen and shall give the vineyard to others. And when they heard it, they said, God forbid. So they cast him out of the vineyard and killed him. They crucified Jesus, God's son, and shall give the vineyard to others. The vineyard is the house of Israel, as spoken by the prophet Isaiah. The others that the owner gives the vineyard away to is the little flock of believers in Israel that make up what is also called the remnant. Isaiah 5 or 7 and Luke 12, 32. Render unto Caesar... Luke twenty seventeen to 18, KJV, And he beheld them and said, What is this then that is written, the stone which the builders rejected, the same has become the head of the corner? Whosoever shall fall upon that stone shall be broken, but on whomsoever it shall fall, it will grind him to powder. Psalm 180, 22, and Daniel 2, 2, 34, 45. Psalm 188, 22, The stone which the builders refused has become the headstone of the corner, the plot against Jesus. Luke 20, verse 19, 20, KJV. And the chief priests and the scribes the same hour sought to lay hands on him, and they feared the people, for they perceived that he had spoken this parable against them. And they watched him and sent forth spies, which should feign themselves just men, that they might take hold of his words, that so they might deliver him unto the power and authority of the governor, sought to lay hands on him to arrest him luke twenty twenty one to twenty five k j v and they asked him, saying, Master, we know that thou sayest and teachest rightly, neither acceptest thou the person of any, but teachest the way of God truly. Is it lawful for us to give tribute unto Caesar or no? But he perceived their craftiness and said, I tempt ye me, shew me a penny, whose image and superscription hath it? They answered and said, Caesar's, and he said unto them, Render therefore unto Caesar the things which be Caesar's and unto God the things which be God's. Render therefore unto Caesar the things that are Caesar's, taxes, and unto God the things that are God's, righteousness under the law, Luke twenty twenty six. And they could not take hold of his words before the people, and they marveled at his answer and held their peace. 
Luke 20, 27 through JV, then came to him certain of the Sadducees, which deny that there is any resurrection. And they asked him, saying, Master, Moses wrote unto us, If any man's brother die having a wife, and he die without children, that his brother should take his wife and raise up seed unto his brother. There were therefore seven brethren, and the first took a wife and died without children. And the second took her to wife, and he died childless. And the third took her, and in like manner the seven also, and they left no children and died. Last of all, the woman died also. Therefore in the resurrection, whose wife of them is she? For seven had her to wife, and Jesus answering said unto them, The children of this world marry, and are given in marriage, but they which shall be accounted worthy to obtain that world, and the resurrection from the dead, neither marry, nor are given in marriage, neither can they die any more. For they are equal unto the angels, and are the children of God, being the children of the resurrection. They which shall be accounted worthy to obtain that world and the resurrection from the dead. Jesus explained to the Sadducees that people would not be married nor given in marriage in the kingdom. Believing Jews are promised to be a kingdom of priests in the kingdom. Exodus 19, 5 to 6 KJV. Now therefore, if you will obey my voice indeed and keep my covenant, then ye shall be a peculiar treasure unto me above all people, for all the earth is mine. And ye shall be unto me a kingdom of priests and an holy nation. These are the words which thou shalt speak unto the children of Israel. They will be a blessing to the Gentile nations in making known the Messiah unto them. The children of the resurrection, those born again from the dead at the onset of the kingdom. 1 John 3, 1-2 KJV Behold what manner of love the Father hath bestowed upon us, that we should be called the sons of God. Therefore the world knoweth us not, because it knew him not. Beloved, now are we the sons of God, and it doth not yet appear what we shall be. But we know that, when he shall appear, we shall be like him, for we shall see him as he is. Luke twenty thirty seven to 40 Now that the dead are raised, even Moses shoot at the bush, when he calleth the Lord the God of Abraham, and the God of Isaac, and the God of Jacob. For he is not a God of the dead, but of the living, for all live unto him. Then certain of the scribes answering said, Master, thou hast well said, and after that they durst not ask him any question at all. The God of Abraham. God was currently the God of Abraham, because Abraham was, and is, currently alive, as were Isaac and Jacob. The promises made by God could not be kept that were made to Abraham and his offspring if there were not a resurrection. Every promise made to them will be realized when Israel is resurrected into their kingdom. Abraham is not dead nor asleep at this moment, but is in paradise until the day he and all the righteous are raised from the dead. The bodies are the only thing that sleep. The soul of Abraham and all the righteous dead are conscious in paradise. Luke 20, 41, 444. How say they that Christ is David's son? And David himself saith in the book of Psalms, The Lord said unto my Lord, Sit thou on my right hand, till I make thine enemies thy footstool. David therefore calleth him Lord. How is he then his son? The Lord said unto my Lord, David, who existed way before Jesus was born, called Jesus Lord prophetically, not knowing what his name was because he wasn't born yet, but he still called someone who was his descendant Lord. No father would ever call his son Lord let alone someone many generations after him. The elder or the one who was the patriarch would always be the one being called Lord. So why would King David call the Messiah Lord if he were born so many generations before Jesus was? Because Jesus was God in the flesh and therefore he held a higher position and he was worthy of David calling him Lord. Beware of the scribe, Luke 20, 45, 47, KJV. Then in the audience of all the people, he said unto his disciples, Beware of the scribes, which desire to walk in long robes and love greetings in the markets and the highest seats in the synagogues and the chief rooms at feasts, which devour widows' houses and for a shoe make long prayers. The same shall receive greater damnation. The scribes were standing right there and all the people heard Jesus' words describing them. This should have shook them to their core and it did with a small amount of them. Unfortunately, not enough of them. Most of them just were angered, and they sought to shut Jesus up any way they could, including conspiring to kill Jesus. Gospel of Luke chapter 21. When shall these things be? Luke 21 to 4 KJV. And he looked up and saw the rich men casting their gifts into the treasury. And he saw also a certain poor widow casting in thither two mites. And he said, Of a truth I say unto you, that this poor widow hath cast in more than they all. For all these have of their abundance cast in unto the offerings of God, but she of her penury hath cast in all the living that she had, small coins, 
her penury, her poverty, Mark 12, 40. And there came a certain poor widow, and she threw in two might, which make a farthing, Christ. Luke 21, 5 to 6. And as some spake of the temple, how it was adorned with goodly stones and gifts, he said, As for these things which ye behold, the days will come in the which there shall not be left one stone upon another that shall not be thrown down. This happened in 70 AD. Luke 21, 7, KJV. And they asked him, saying, Master, but when shall these things be? And what sign will there be when these things shall come to pass? Matthew 24, 1. And Jesus went out and departed from the temple, and his disciples came to him for to shew him the buildings of the temple. And Jesus said unto them, See ye not all these things? Verily I say unto you, There shall not be left here one stone upon another that shall not be thrown down. Luke 21, 8, K. And he said, Take heed that ye be not deceived. For many shall come in my name, saying, I am Christ, and the time draweth near. Go ye not, therefore, after them. The time draweth near. The main person who will come that will say that he is the Christ is the Antichrist, the great deceiver who will deceive, if it were possible, the very elect. They were in the 69th week of Daniel's prophecy, and the 70th week was drawing near at that time. It was postponed because of Israel's rejection of Jesus, and the dispensation of grace was soon ushered in. Luke 21, 9 to 15. KJV, but when ye shall hear of wars and commotions, be not terrified, for these things must first come to pass, but the end is not by and by. Then said he unto them, Nation shall rise against nation, and kingdom against kingdom, and great earthquakes shall be in divers places, and famines and pestilences, and fearful sights and great signs shall there be from heaven. But before all these, they shall lay their hands on you and persecute you, delivering you up to the synagogues and into prisons, being brought before kings and rulers for my name's sake, and it shall turn to you for a testimony. Settle it therefore in your heart not to meditate before what ye shall answer, for I will give you a mouth and wisdom, which all your adversaries shall not be able to gainsay nor resist. Notice that the believers in the tribulation period, which is what is being spoken about here, will be persecuted by being delivered up to the synagogues before they will be sent to prisons. This is what was happening in the first century when Saul of Tarsus was persecuting believers even unto death. They will have the same opportunities to witness before kings and rulers for Christ's namesake, just like the Daniel or the apostles did. I will give you a mouth and wisdom. This is kingdom power like that which Stephen and Peter had as they preach to the leaders of Israel. God will supernaturally empower his disciples to be bold witnesses for him once again in the tribulation period, just as it was in the first century. Luke 21, 16, 19, KJV. And ye shall be betrayed both by parents and brethren and kinsfolks and friends, and some of you shall they cause to be put to death, and ye shall be hated of all men for my name's sake. But there shall not an hair of your head perish. In your patience possess ye, in your patience possess ye your souls. This is another way of saying what was said. Matthew twenty four thirteen. He that shall endure unto the end shall be saved. Luke twenty one T twenty one K J V. And when ye shall see Jerusalem compassed with armies then know that the desolation thereof is nigh. Then let them which are in Judea flee to the mountains, and let them which are in the midst of it depart out, and let not them that are in the countries enter therein too. The desolation thereof is nigh. This is a reference to the abomination of desolation spoken of by the prophet Daniel. Daniel 11.31 KJV An arm shall stand on his part, and they shall pollute the sanctuary of strength, and shall take away the daily sacrifice, and they shall place the abomination that maketh desolate. Luke 21, 22, 25, KJV. For these be the days of vengeance, that all things which are written may be fulfilled. But woe unto them that are with child, and to them that give suck in those days. For there shall be great distress in the land, and wrath upon this people. And they shall fall by the edge of the sword, and shall be led away captive into all nations. And Jerusalem shall be trodden down of the Gentiles, until the times of the Gentiles be fulfilled. And there shall be signs in the sun, and in the moon, and in the stars, and upon the earth distress of nations, with perplexity, the sea and the waves roaring. These be the days of vengeance, Isaiah, for it is the day of the Lord's vengeance and the year of recompenses for the controversy of Zion to proclaim the acceptable year of the Lord and the day of vengeance of our God to comfort all that mourn. Isaiah 60, for the day of vengeance is in mine heart and the year of my redeemed is come. Jeremiah 46, 10, for this is the day of the Lord God of hosts, a day of vengeance that he may avenge him of his adversaries and the sword shall devour 
and it shall be satiate and made drunk with their blood. For the Lord God of hosts hath a sacrifice in the north country by the river Euphrates. The times of the Gentiles, this is when the Gentiles rule over Jerusalem, which shall be until the Messiah sets up his kingdom after those days. The fullness of the Gentiles has to do with the body of Christ filling up leading up to the rapture of the church, which is his body. Luke 21, 25 to 26, KJV. And there shall be signs in the sun and in the moon and in the stars and upon the earth distress of nations with perplexity, the sea and the waves roaring, men's hearts failing them for fear and for looking after those things which are coming on the earth for the powers of heaven shall be shaken. There shall be signs in the sun and in the moon and in the stars. These are those signs talked about by the prophet Joel. Isaiah 13, 10, 34, 4 to 8, Ezekiel 32, 7 to 8, Psalm 18, and 2 Samuel 22, 9 to 12. The powers of heaven shall be shaken. God will literally shake the heavens and cast Satan and his angels down to the earth for the last three and a half years of the seven-year tribulation period. Revelation 12, verse 7, KJV. And there was war in heaven. Michael and his angels fought against the dragon, and the dragon fought in his angels. The revelation of Jesus Christ. Luke 21, verse 20, C. And then shall they see the Son of Man coming in a cloud with power and great glory. The Son of Man coming in a cloud, this will occur after all the signs above happen. Luke twenty one twenty eight KJV. And when these things begin to come to pass, then look up and lift up your heads, for your redemption draweth nigh. When these things begin to come to pass, not when they have all come to pass, but when they begin to come to pass, your redemption draweth nigh, near, it will be at hand when these things begin to happen. They are told to start looking up because these signs begin to happen. This is directly for the tribulation saints enduring unto the end of that terrible time. They are told in the other gospel accounts to be watching and waiting for the Lord's return. Luke 21, 29 to 32 KJV, and he spake to them a parable, behold the fig tree and all the trees, when they now shoot forth, ye see and know of your own selves that summer is now nigh at hand. So likewise ye, when ye see these things come to pass, know ye that the kingdom of God is nigh at hand. Verily I say unto you, this generation shall not pass away till all be fulfilled. The kingdom of God is nigh at hand, Matthew 3, verse 2, KJV, and saying, Repent ye, for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. This generation shall not pass away till all be fulfilled. What generation? Not the generation that was here when Israel became a nation again in 1948. That generation has almost completely died off in 2023. It is the generation that sees these signs come to pass, Matthew 24, 34, KJV. Verily I say unto you, this generation shall not pass till all these things be fulfilled. That generation only is the generation that is being spoken about. It is a generation that is alive after the rapture takes the body of Christ out of this world because we are not appointed unto wrath. First Thessalonians 5, 9 KJV. For God hath not appointed us to wrath, but to obtain salvation by our Lord Jesus Christ. Luke 21, 30, 30 to 36 KJV. Heaven and earth shall pass away, but my word shall not pass away. And take heed to yourselves, lest at any time your hearts be overcharged with surfeiting and drunkenness and cares of this life, and so that day come upon you unawares. For as a snare shall it come on all them that dwell on the face of the whole earth. Watch ye therefore and pray always that ye may be accounted worthy to escape all these things that shall come to pass and to stand before the Son of Man. Watch ye therefore. They are to be watching, waiting, and praying that they may be accounted worthy. That is not salvation in the dispensation of grace. It is Israel in the tribulation period enduring unto the end to be counted worthy to enter the kingdom. Matthew 24, 43, 51, KJV. But know this, that if the goodman of the house had known in what watch the thief would come, he would have watched and would not have suffered his house to be broken up. Therefore, be ye also ready, for in such an hour as ye think not the Son of Man cometh, who then is a faithful and wise servant, whom his Lord hath made ruler over his household, to give them meat in due season. Blessed is that servant, whom his Lord, when he cometh, shall find so doing. Verily I say unto you, that he shall make him ruler over all his goods. But and if that evil servant shall say in his heart, My Lord delayeth his coming, and shall begin to smite his fellow servants, and to eat and drink with the drunken, the Lord of that servant shall come in a day when he looketh not for him, and in an hour that he is not aware of, and shall cut him asunder, and appoint him his portion with the hypocrite. There shall be weeping and gnashing of teeth, Luke 21, 37 to 38, KJV. And in the daytime, he was teaching in the temple. 
And at night he went out and abode in the mount that is called the Mount of Olives. And all the people came early in the morning to him in the temple for to hear him. Mm-hmm.